And it's a situation that might make your skin crawl, roaches, bed bugs, and a long list of other problems. This is what greeted some of the tenants in a building on East Galbraith Road in Deer Park when they moved in a couple of weeks ago. But Local 12 News has found the problems in the building aren't anything new. Rich Jaffe joins us now with a look at what's wrong and when it might get fixed. Rich. Rob, inspectors from the Hamilton County Health Department have been writing up violations in this building as far back as 1999. The problems include things like lead, trash, and bugs. Lots of bugs, bed bugs and cockroaches. The apartments in this building, eight of them, rent anywhere from $450 up to $595 a month. When you consider that and what's going on inside the walls here, it might leave you wondering, who owns this place? The bugs in this building are everywhere. It doesn't take long to collect a crawling colony. John Van Hise, his sister and two grandsons moved into this apartment November 5th. With rent and deposit, they paid more than $1,200. He says before they signed, the landlord told him there was a minor bug problem. When we came here first and looked at the place, I saw a few roaches, okay? When we came back, it was Roach City. One of the other things you can't miss in this apartment is all the cable TV wiring. It crisscrosses doorways, hallways, and if you look outside, it's a wiring bird's nest with cables lacing the front of the building like a huge spider web. While we found the building furnace is working, it's apparently not working very well. Last night it was temperature in here was probably in the 50s. You know, I don't know, maybe it was colder than that. All I know is it was freezing. Inspectors for the city of Deer Park and the Hamilton County Health Department know this place and the owner, Phyllis Krug, pretty well. They've been writing up the violations here for years. In fact, an inspector from the health department showed up today for yet another look. John Van Hise has his own health concerns. I got COPD. I don't know how being around roaches like this mm -hmm. is going to affect my breathing. You know, and you saw them right by my bed, all them. And that's, that's just days worth. That isn't, you know, a long time. Residents say when they complain to the owner and her family members about the bugs, they get a perplexing answer. They say that if we have to get an exterminator in here, then we're going to have to raise your rent. And I'm like, whoa, wait a minute. Why? Why would, I mean, we just moved in. How can you raise our rent? Because, you, you know, part of owning a building is, number one, to maintain the building. Absolutely right. I talked with Phyllis Krug this afternoon about the issues here. Uh, she tells me that her son is the fix-up guy and her daughter collects the rents here. She said that she's not really sure why we think that there's a problem with the bugs. She says there are hundreds of buildings around here with similar problems. She also said that she has been sick lately and says they haven't been able to keep up with the repairs very well, but they may not have a choice. As you saw, the health department was here today. Building inspectors do here tomorrow, and we will let you know what they find. In Deer Park, Rich Jaffe, Local 12 News. Rob? Rich, thanks very much. Phyllis Krug has owned the apartment building since 1988. John Van Hy says he actually rented a different apartment building in, the, in this, a different apartment rather, in this building 20 years ago. And back then it was a nice place to live, bug free. If you're paying rent and having problems, your landlord refuses to fix, then let us know and maybe we can help you.